all you uh, flight sim pilots out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, 2020, and I am going to do one of the bush trips, uh, and I'm going to do it in legs. And so we're going to start with the first leg. It's from Unalaska, and it is going to Accutan. Uh, it's a calm day, so uh, that'll be good. We're going to be flying in the Cub Crafters X Club. Uh, it's a tail dragger, so bear with me. Bear with my landings. They will be a little rough. I'm not used to a tail dragger. I'm not. I'm not a real pilot at all. So. Uh, but I do like the uh, Cessnas and the tricycle uh, landing gear much better than I do the uh, tail draggers. So, uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, by the way, uh, I still will be doing my air hauler missions and stuff. Uh, it's just that that's uh, quite the uh, quite the challenge to get uh, that recorded since there's basically two different programs on that so i'll be doing that only once or twice a month and these i'm going to kind of do on a regular basis obviously with 12 legs i'm going to uh try to do this uh you know a couple of week maybe so we'll see how that goes so let's start and uh, with the first leg and let's see what happens here all right so as you can see uh we have quite the little uh, journey to go uh, across the Alaskan uh, Aleutians. So let's see, we don't have any, it's not showing any objectives yet. Uh, we are ready to fly. Uh, so let's click ready to fly. All right, so we are uh, our first point of reference is going to be, uh, we're going to be heading 77 degrees and we are currently, uh, let's check our, and we are currently pointed in 127 degrees. So we're going to want to take off and start, uh, swinging to the east and so let's see if we can uh, uh, let's see if we can get uh, started on this leg I think it points us in the wrong direction and so uh, we're gonna be flying a lot by sight here so uh, and I'm not gonna be using the autopilot or anything like that so uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started and oh let's check uh let's put our flaps down and okay back inside all right here's seeing if we kind of got this set uh rever up it should take much to get off the ground here and there we go all right so let's start uh, swinging around this away and actually let's start swinging around the other way Gonna see if we can uh, get us back on track here. Go ahead and raise that flap. And one thing about the cub, it doesn't take a hell of a lot to, to get it up in the air. And, yep, I know all of that will, okay, we're, we're heading, well, we're going to head 
around here just a little bit. Uh, we should be... Just down here, you can see we've just crossed over this little area in here. So we actually should be swinging, I think, a little bit more back up this way. And let's uh, back off on the throttle a little bit. should have been a little north of that but that's fine uh, we're actually down here and so we want to I think uh, we go outside yeah we're heading right straight towards this spot right here which is that spot right there so once we hit that uh, then we are going to start turning so our first point was to here second point was to here and so we can kind of start swinging up a little bit Then, uh, so if we start swinging like around here a little bit, yeah, bear with me. Like I said, I'm not a real pilot, so just kind of fly along here and kind of get to where we need to go. But we are on a 72 degrees, we want to be should be starting to swing around now and we're going to want to swing somewhere around a hundred a hundred three degrees I think Oop, I think I'm swinging the wrong way actually not sure why everything kind of feels backwards but be swinging up towards yeah we should be actually be swinging around this way yeah there we go I think we're getting back on track here We've got to cut through this inlet right here see down on the pointer there we go now we're starting to get on track I think that little island right out in front of us is this island right here 
So when we hit somewhere around this point, we're going to slightly start changing around this way. So we're not totally lost yet. We are almost to that little island. Yeah, this is, you know, kind of an interesting uh, journey. Uh, I go to Alaska every summer anyway, and but I don't obviously never get out to the Aleutians. So this is kind of my way of kind of seeing the rest of Alaska. Uh, I go out to the Copper Center and uh, fish out in, in that area, which is always a lot of fun. All right, so we need to, we're just crossing over. Uh, I believe should be heading around 43 degrees. Our next point is, I think, this bay out over here. Because there's that first one right there, and then there's that one right there. So that's the direction we're going to be flying to. Yeah, a little shaky start to get started there. Looked a little rough. Might as well fly out here. It's, uh... I am kind of going down in elevation, though, which is not good. I should actually be climbing. Let's uh, trim this up a little bit so we start climbing. Okay. So we've got to get up over the pass. Well, then we should be starting to gain some elevation now. Trimming it, uh, trimming it uh, up a little bit. So we need to start heading. about 16 degrees which should put us on this leg right here leg seven so this should be the one we're currently flying right now and once we reach this point up here and we will swing almost due east and then we should see the airport in sight. All right, let's go back in. And let's put, pull this up. All right, so that's Pass. I think that's the pass that they were talking about. So we'll fly right through there. But as soon as we hit the shoreline up here, we should be getting fairly close. And then we've got to swing... 88 degrees, and then we should actually see the airport. Once we uh, clear the... Clear the mountains here, clear the ridges. Time to start swinging. And you want to gain some elevation, I believe. And we want to swing to 
88 degrees. You are losing elevation. We probably don't want to lose quite that much. Going to... Uh, I'm in a tail dragger, so we're going to probably end up using full flaps most of the time. I have a hell of a time even once I get it on the ground braking, so... Alright, let's see if we can actually land this thing. All right, 500. Give it a little throttle. I don't think there's any lights here on this airport. first flap and our second flap start reducing speed I just have a hell of a time like that. Uh oh. Alright, come on, come on. Get slowed down, slowed down, slowed down. Come on. Alright, let's turn. And let's get over here to the airport. And let's go outside to do this. Might be a little easier. Okay. Get over here and get parked. Uh, looks like this is the uh, taxiway up here. Okay. Well, I know it's not a picture perfect flight or picture perfect day, but as far as my flying, it wasn't picture perfect. But we got here and we're uh, getting up here to get parked. See if we can uh, kind of cruise right up here. Okay. Completed. All right. Uh, that is a good. Uh, that's a good thing that we got uh, completed. So we can, uh, uh, the next uh, episode, I will uh, be uh, doing the uh, second leg. And uh, yeah, so 
This is the one of the bush trips. The Unalaska to Kaluk. I believe it's Kaluk Lake. And so we've got a few more legs of that. So look for the next episode. All right. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And ring that bell. Uh, it'll let you know when I'm uploading uh, new videos. And I'm always uploading new videos. All right. All you uh, flight sim pilots out there. Uh, keep flying away and uh, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.